Hello everyone! Before the video starts, I wanted to come on here real quick and explain a few things. This will be the last video for my reposts. All reposts have been posted as of this one, thankfully, so I can move on with my content. Thir uh, secondly, thank you all for staying here through the reposts. I know they are not what I normally post. And thirdly, the reason I am posting this video even though this drama is like two to three years old, which I don't really consider it drama, it's still important information for new players to be aware of, as well as older players who may have forgotten and <laughs> want to refresh their memory. Either way, it's important, so I am posting it once more. All links will be down below for you to do your own research and come to your own conclusions on things. And fourthly, I want to apologize for the... <laughs> atrocious audio in this video. Um, it was still when I was kind of new to YouTube and I was still figuring out OBS's settings for my mic, so I apologize for the audio being the way it is. But yeah, links below, come to your own conclusions on whether you want to support the developers or not, and timestamps below as well. I will see you in the next video. 2020, is this even a year? It doesn't feel like it's actually a year to me. We in the Matrix, this is simulation. <laughs> Alright. So this is scripted. Otherwise I will go on long tangents. Nobody needs to hear it. But first things first, I want to get this out of the way. I'll show all the screens, screenshots I got from... I'll show it all. I'm sure I missed some. Because it was the chat was just... Um, yeah. But anyway, let's start with this real quick hello all i'm one of the people who is no longer in the team regardless of my lack of involvement in regard to the video i still feel obligated to at the very least make a statement since i feel this has gone way too far pardon me for my um anonymity ugh, omnimity i prefer that the public not know me personally because as we can witness being open has gone very sour here I've, nev I've been mentioned in previous statements indirectly as the person with two letters and the minor. It is well known that I did not want to do to it is well known that I did not want and do not want previous issues involving me to be readdressed by others and least of all to be brought to the public. I am incre incredibly embarrassed that this occurred, I'd like to ask all of you to not continue such discussions publicly. They appear to have done more harm than good. The community here seems to be star striving for tea or revenge, rather than improvement and positive change. How can we insist someone else change to meet our standards when we are unwilling to give them the opportunity to move forward and progress? While well, Alex and I have, have had some nas very nasty fights, and I have probably been one of the people most negatively affected by personal issues, we still remain on speaking terms, and I would never want harm to come to him or others, in the same way that I believe he would never want to harm me. It seems, however, that the people participating here do, at the very least, in the way things are being, being spoken about, and this greatly disturbs me. It is true that difficult times have occurred and a lot of bad feelings are rampant, but there is absolutely no reason for such behavior to occur on either side. Be kind to one another, otherwise nothing good can come of this. So as requested, they don't wish for this to be addressed as tea or revenge and just no longer be addressed. But this is on a very fine line, as not everyone understands what is going on within the community. Not everyone was able to be in the server or get into the server to see this, and a lot of people are confused. I'm simply using this video as a collection of the Q&A, and I don't mean any disrespect. I wish this could just all go away and come and good come of it. But with the threat of the game being solely for the Russian players and any other players Alex feels is safe to let in, I can't just let this go. I personally have put five years into my account. I am just one of the thousands of people who are about to possibly get their game destroyed. I cannot let this go. I am putting the server Q&A here for those who are confused, for those who are looking for the information and wish to get info before forming a real solid opinion on this whole mess. I am splitting this video into three parts. Timestamps below. The first part is solely just game questions, questions players ask specifically about the game, and the second part will be the replies to, from the dev team about the video, and the third is a little bit of my personal opinion. And finally, 
Any comments I receive will be, to the best of my own ability, moderated. I agree that we can have civil debates and civil conversations on this matter. We can all talk about this and be respectful. Any comments that have blatant insults towards another or telling somebody to shut up because their opinion doesn't match with their own will be deleted. We, I think we can all talk and discuss about this. We can disagree and discuss and we can agree and talk. Now let's get into the information and screenshots. Would there be a possibility to raise the chance of getting a certain coat, color, mane, type, etc.? For me anyways, I'll breed a long mane with a medium mane or any other high lineage horse and get completely different horse coats. The chances will be raised each time new coats and mane colors are added, because otherwise it would get harder and harder to get a certain coat, mane, or tail. Will the boys receive more interesting clothes or coming events? I mean, because the girls have clothes full of details, bikinis and suits so different different and the boys are always in shorts, in different colors and without many details. Not to mention that the clothes for girls are always short or with a big neckline while there are a few clothes that com compare for boys. <laughs> Sorry for my mistakes, I was using the Google Translator. I absolutely agree here. We will do our best to make the new clothes more exciting. Thankfully, our understanding of how to add new content to the game is constantly improving, so we are less limited than we were in the past. I wonder about more skin tones as well as coloring for hair. Adding skin tones is not easy. Since part of the skin is present on the clothes texture, it would require additional functionality the game cannot provide right now. Since most of the game is already compiled code, with the exception of a few scripts, it is much more difficult for us to add different content than it would to be under normal circumstances. Usually you would build a game in a game engine, but we do not have the source files. So we have to edit and compiled code to be able to ne add new content. This is very reverse engineering and difficult, which is why we take much longer than a normal game dev team would. Exact exactly the same task. There's also a reason why adding new skin tones and hair clothes recoloring is very difficult to do at the current moment. We would love to have that at some point, but cannot promise anything. Is White Curry a part of the team? And if so, is she given carrots, gems, etc.? I would understand if she was part of the team. White Curry is helped in the teaming with the testing, translation, and updates. No, we never give any carrots or real account to real accounts. Nobody gets any carrots or gems on the real accounts, only for the test accounts. Moreover, the system would be able to track if somebody tries to transfer carrots from the test account to a real account, and will be able to detect it. One of my questions is, will there be more servers? Since there is only one server, and most of the players during the races experience lag, or will you only improve the current one? I am aware that it is currently summer and there are players online. It is not the amount of server which is the problem, but the optimization of the current servers. With proper optimization, we will be able to run two to three times faster. Specific questions, okay. How do you need? How do you respond to the moderation? The claims that you don't allow moderators to moderate without going through you. I do agree that we don't do enough for the moderation or at first, and we should have taken care of it much earlier, but improvements for the moderation are normally not considered to be a good update, and often make the main update not much time left to improve the moderation, and I agree that that I was not the proper, it was not the proper way to deal with the situation. And yes, there are not that many volunteers on the development side who would work for free, however we have many volunteers for translation and those players are easily ac accepted. Sorry for all these questions, but ha will you have ever add different animations for the girls? I love the boys' animations, they're so unique. There are currently no plans to add more animations for the player characters. Of course, everybody, including myself, wants to add dismounting, etc., and I really hope we will be able to do that someday. So if we ever add new animations for player characters, it's most likely will be then. How many members are on your team now? More than three? Also... Why did you guys restart the game? I know it was a hobby, but why not try to make it more than a hobby? Will the company allow a petition for it to restart the game so you could be do things and manage them better without fear or design, be, fear or design being taken away? Sorry. One, no, they will not allow. We tried. Two, original company does not exist. Three, we don't want to make the game paid even if it were to be allowed because most players are kids without their own money. How come the account deletion request to delete our account or request our data hasn't been implemented yet? It's more complicated than you might think, because account deletion involves removing cross-reference in the friend list, all the messages sent between in both directions. Instead of asking adding 
about adding new items or functions, are there current plans to implement the guild ranking battle system, since players ranking has been out, which adds more depth to th and fun to the game. More players have been wanting guild ranks. It will be imp implemented at some point, but we would like to take care of the bad name names and bad guild names first. The ranking system has shown us that this is very much necessary. I'm guessing bald is a no, then? Adding bald heads as a hairstyle would be super easy. If enough people want it, I don't see why not. Good evening. I'm sorry if the question was asked. With many players, we have noticed a big problem with the game support. I don't know if this falls under the development category, but I will try. give it a try. When we send our reports, you ignore them. I understand that you have things to do on the side, but establishing support and rules is not to look pretty. However, seeing incessant global chat spam is annoying and the bot, spot, bot, bot spam ugh, does nothing about it. If it was possible to improve the spam bot elsewhere, that would help us a lot. Regarding support, wouldn't it be better to set up some other support than your current team, which is as adults and well aware players of Alicia Online? Obviously, as a volunteer base and by taking players who can help, indeed, your approach against racist, homophobic, offensive pseudonyms is very good, but concerning the guilds, we see a lot of guilds with super heart hurtful names. We remind you that young players play the game. Their safety is essential, so I ask if you approach against player uh, aliases will soon apply to guild names. I think this will be all for now, although I still have a lot of support and player rules concerns arise. Yes, our moderation system is lacking severely, and we apologize for having neglected to improve it for so long. We are aware of toxicity in the community, as many are, is mainly our fault, because we added the rules too late and did not prioritize the moderation system high enough. We will do better in the future. Do you plan to put voice chat into the game? This would be possible technically, but we do not. We have no means of moderating it automatically, so it could bring some issues to the community if added without control. Will you add new maps in with different weather, like thunder or lightning? We would love to add new maps someday, and they might have different weather skies, but it's complicated and not planned for the nearest future. Just in the interest of making Alicia's development as easy as possible for such a small, small team, is there a possibility of a channel on a Discord server being added for people who'd like to submit textures or anything else that could help with the game development. This could potentially help with adding new assets and stuff in if the people who help create these assets don't officially join the dev team. I'm sure there are plenty of skilled people wanting to help out purely out of their love for the game. The problem with letting people from the outside help with concepts, etc., is that these people might re retract the permission for us to use them. It happened several times to me that I could no longer work on a project I had almost finished because the concept artist had some personal argument with Alex or others and no longer wanted me to use their said conce concept. In these cases, we always respect the wish of the artist, which meant that we had wasted our time creating 3D models we could no longer use. So as of now, we prefer working with artists. We can be sure they will not suddenly tell us that we cannot use their work anymore. Is it possible to layer accessories and have more than one on our characters? It is technically possible, yes. What is not possible at the moment, however, is to create an interface for controlling additional accessory types. Specifically, there are not enough slots in the shop and in inventory for all types of accessories. We are investigating a possibility to extend those items, item slots. What about shires and donkeys? We hope it will be possible to add them someday. We would love to. Will there be, ever be a new magic spell like the lasso or shrinking spell? I've seen them in the old Alicia videos, and I was wondering if it would, we'd ever, if it would ever be a thing again. Currently, no new spells are planned, but it is not impossible. Will you add walking with our characters? Dismounting would be required functionalities, which are currently not in-game. We would love to add it in someday, but cannot make any promises here. The people who would complain about spaced out updates wouldn't leave, if that's your concern. We are actually already managing our time better lately, but just making small updates, therefore, there is much less stress now. However, lots of players com comment that, well, nothing useful this time again. I can't agree with this. I've, I've seen comments about how nothing, the update isn't useful, the update's nothing, just... Ungrateful people. <laughs> when will the gifting system be in place? There are currently no plans to add gifting system.
if someone made an idea for an outfit dress, would you recon reconsider making it into the game? Sure, we appreciate player concepts and suggestions. In fact, the 2020 swimsuit was inspired by a player concept art idea. Will you ever add the feature where our horses run around the ranch and follow the old horse at the ranch? This is part of the horse behavior, which is also part of the ranch skills. We currently don't have enough information on how this works originally, but we want to add it at some point. I've been seeing a lot of answers to these questions as they require time to work on, or we're working on them. But what is the team currently working on? Currently, we are working on a system to get rid of the bad player names, improve mail function, and probably the ranch skills. There is a horse EXP elixir, 30 plus, which speeds up classing. Could it be possible to add such an item to AU, which adds a specific amount of horse EXP? For example, an item which adds 5k, 15k, 30k, etc. A horse EXP to a horse of your choice, it may cost gems, for example, 2.5k gems. Interesting idea, but when the players with a lot of gems could just buy the EXP. But the whole point of training up the horses racing in such bottle would make the point make the point get lost. I have nothing to really say here. Simple answers to questions. Um, take things that what they say with a grain of salt, because they mentioned ranch, skill ranch skills a while back, saying they were working on them, but like I said, it's been a while. Not saying they're lying. I know programming can take time, and without... And with everything accused, I'm sure it's been time to, ten times harder. Um, but, yeah, just do with this information what you will. On to the next thing. Uh, the first thing I want to bring up is the stalking, I think. I may be confusing these. It may be two different things. But I remember somebody mentioning an IP address, and I think that was what the stalking thing was. So, please correct me if I'm wrong. This is just what I think. Um, here, missed it, but is the truth that Mia's accusations of stalking someone? If no, do you know this, what situation she's referring to that might have been misconstrued? First, this accusation does not make any sense from the technical point of view. The maximum information you can get about a player is IP address, which only gives the name and the city, and even this is often incorrect. In some special cases, we do ban IP addresses of the troublemaker. One of the examples was a player who was sending threats to others. In order to make sure people like this don't join the game, we have to ban the IP address. This has nothing to do with stalking, but rather blocking a person who constantly violates the game's rules from the game. I would expect this to what most players would actually request. And now, a simple Google search can confirm what Alex said, but... This is just a Google search. I didn't dive any further between game companies and internet companies to see if there's any difference. But Google said that the IP address routes internet trafficking to your computer. To clarify, it does not reveal your location. If someone was able to get your IP address, they can learn a bit about your internet service, such as which provider you use to connect to the internet, but they really can't locate you, your home, or your office. And then, can, can I know location for IP address? And then again, it stresses, an IP address lookup will determine the geolocation of any IP address. The result has quite a bit of information. It will show your city, state, region, postal, zip code, country name, ISP, and time zone. But it doesn't say anything about a specific address to where you, as a person or player, live. But, again, I don't know if there's a difference between a gaming company's able ability with IP addresses to an internet I'd think an internet company would have a little bit more information with IP address. Just, just take it. Take the information. <laughs> we'll just leave that there. And on to the rest. These are the video-specific questions. Let's see. Uh, Alex mentioned he had a full-time job. This comes from the fact that, for example, I have full work and usually have no free time doing, during this week at all and work on the updates on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, sometimes without much sleep. By author, do you mean go, go, we, go, we, go, 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 we, oof, we? <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. <laughs> I, I only know broken English. Uh, or do you mean Mia? I mean Mia. I don't know who Goey is. In fact, I barely remember Mia. I have to check the old Skype account to refresh my mind, but other team members remember her from early days. Will you guys consider taking more moderators, programmers, etc.? 
Well, a very good question, but you see, taking people that we don't know into a team can result in very complicated situations, like the current story with the published video. And this video came from a person who was rejected. I am so happy that we didn't accept this person to the team. Can only imagine the harm they could be could have done otherwise. Video came out because people are tired of your abuse towards the volunteers and how you pick favorites with people in the Russian community. Not sure what abuse towards the volunteers refer to. Volunteers normally either become a team member or rejected. Proof. The published video is proof. I'm not sure exactly what that one was about. Uh, concerning the video, I will always give my personal opinion. Some of the things mentioned in the video are true. Others are widely exaggerated and some are incorrect. To give a few examples, it is true that we often had many arguments in an unhealthy work environment. I will not deny that. This is something that we have to work on and are working on. It is not true that we hate the community or that was that we are lazy. For, ex for the reason I already specified, it takes as much takes us longer to further develop the game than it would under normal conditions. <clears throat> we sometimes work hard for days with little to no sleep, with very little to show for it. So if someone at called us lazy or claims that we barely work on the game, they only prove that they don't know a lot about what we actually are doing here. Mia was not added because she would not ha not have fit in with the game ex game's existing team. As mentioned, we already had many incompatible incompatible characters in the team which caused a lot of trouble and it would do norm nobody any good to add more into this mix if we already know if it would not work and i'm aware this is rather subjective and i am sure that mia would be absolutely fine on a team with different characters but we decided that we would prefer not to work with her because it simply wouldn't have worked out for any of us i understand she is angry about this but in the end we are volunteers who do this for a free time with our free time so she would be able to choose if we should be able to choose who we want to spend our time with. Ugh, I completely butchered that. I cannot read. <laughs> I don't think she intended to harm anyone. Well, try to imagine that you are spending all of your free time to work on a game and bring something good for the players. And then somebody posts a video which causes a lot of negative... Negative, then think about. Negativity, think about. Would you, would you be motivated the same way next week to work on an update? If large part of the comments will be negative and based on a distorted story of some person who was not even part of the team. I remember this. Alex mentioned that she wasn't officially a part of the team. And Mia did say that she was working outside of the team. I do remember that. Um, the reason we are reluctant to recruit more members is that we have made very bad experiences in the past. We had to remove team, team members from the team because, for example, abuse their power as moderators to mute people they personally did not like or did not did not unex, did other ex, unacceptable things. <clears throat> I can't read. Which led to them harassing us in the game on social media to take revenge on us because they knew our identities. Some of them even leaked our names and threatened to dox us, or worse, since this happened, we have become much more careful with accepting new members because we really don't want to experience this again. We first want to get to know the person at our own pace. Yes, you could say that we have trust issues, but they are not unfounded. The problem with letting people from the outside help with concepts, etc., is that these people might retract the permission for us to use them. And yeah, those of you who have exams and don't sleep for a few days, try imagine working on in this state every Sunday when you normally would have rest. That's not an excuse, of course, but those who even been in this state and understand that you might get easily triggered due to stress. I can agree with this. I studied so hard during exams. I was very snappy. I was, oof. It was, it was not good. But yeah, I can't agree with what he says there. Uh, you said you can't use people's work unless you trust them. How would somebody earn that said trust? Normally, we accept friends so that we know people who spend significant time with them. It's an important factor. In other cases, we can judge by the emotional age of the person, i.e. would a person leak the information to create some hype or not emotional adult beings people simply don't, don't need it. Hype or not emotional adult. Um, okay. <laughs> Do you have a bias to the Russian community and listen to them more than the rest of the community? Some team members might think this way because I also run a group in the Russian community. There are a lot of members there, and it is a good player base to estimate opinions about the added items for example. So 
it has nothing to do with being particularly Russian. For example, this 101 server would be also a good source of player opinions if I owned it or got information collected. Any big group of players is a valuable source of information regardless to loca location. Find people who will volunteer to help with the server. Try to fix the delay and improve poor server connections. The connection to slowly jank it needs optimization. Why did I put this one in here? <laughs> Yeah, I totally agree on that, but unfortunately, it honestly can honestly complicated and requires a lot of work. I was planning to deal with that this summer, but other problems appeared and stuff happened every week. Recent examples. Sometimes a troublemaker attacks players and we have to deal with that. Antiviruses start to complain and need to deal with that. Or some people person posts a harming video and have to also deal with that. A lot of things that were not planned. You said you cannot use people's work unless you trust them. How would someone earn that trust? This is indeed a problematic topic that we don't always fully agree on. I will not deny this. We usually try to get to know them personally without revealing ourselves to see what kind of person they are. We recently recruited another 3D artist this way who proved to be absolutely reliable and a good character. I know it probably sounds stupid, but the things that happened really made us a bit paranoid. I was super shocked when I saw my name being exposed in a video. I must admit that I pathetically begged Go to release to please censor our names, but she never responded, and to be honest, I feel very concerned about the con con consequences. I'm gonna pop in real quick. The only reason I'm not censoring their names is because this is on a public server, so there's no point to censor, because you can easily just find these again. But I'm censoring all the players' names. Currently, the translation is somewhat on hold, but will be revived soon. We are partic particularly in high demand for native English speakers for the translation of the shop. Maybe I missed this, but what is the priority of the updates right now? Sometimes it seems as if there is not really a plan to the updates. Is it a server fixes, moderation improvement? A recent update were a bit confusing to me. Currently, we are in shortage of developers. I really struggling to even do small updates. Hopefully, the situation can improve in the future, despite the effort of some people to make the situation even worse. Let's see. We do have big plans for the future, and many players will be surely... Very surprised, but for the nearest weeks, it's all more or less on hold. But then doesn't that mean that there is an opportunity for talented people to join the team? There is an opportunity, but normally programmers w who have sufficient level are working already while studying for 3D artists. We would like to have more artists, of course, if they are aligned with the team. Those who left are gone. I know multiple of them who would not be interested in rejoining due to the conditions they were subject to. Well, some of them directly try to harm the team, so well, not sure how you can trust them again. I was referring to attempt because devs like that seem rare to have around. Well, we said as, pers as a person should also fit the team to work together without argument. Nobody would even accept a person who previously betrayed someone unless it's an exceptional situation. It was said that Alex took extreme lengths to find out things about people, that he found out their name, where they lived, etc. This also ties into the IP address. The only case when we actually got to the point when we had to look up an IP address between, by the way, it only shows the approximate city, is when we had a troublemaker who was making threats to players. We had to go through additional check to make sure this person does not have access to the game anymore. Yes, it is. shouldn't be hiding in the first place. As said before, it's better for staff to interact with the member and not just for this Q&A. This is probably just the beginning. Maya claimed Alex went to, again with the IP address, uh, finding personal info, not accessible information in the environment. Already replied above, please scroll up. Please ask Maya who told her this and why she interpreted it this way. I would recommend to talk to the person who Mia was talking with and make your own opinion about what actually happened and not about retold story. As said, the maximum information you can technically get is an IP address, which gives only very approximate locations as the town. Sometimes we do have to use IP, ba uh, IP bans in order to prevent players who constantly violate the rules from joining the game because it is what players request in the first place. This has nothing to do with stalking. Which, Google, it's true. <laughs> At least to some extent. And this could be rem remedied by managing your time better. Hire, hire more people to take on the workload. load. We cannot hire people because we do not make any profit. Almost impossible to find a good program or working for free. Are all the things Maya said true? Some of them are true. Some are exaggerated and some are false. Uh... 
your explanation about Curry doesn't explain her rude behavior to someone working with the staff. Everyone has different opinions about me. I don't. I won't deny that I can come off rude and do mistakes, but I also believe that everyone here at least has been rude at some point. Regardless of what you are doing, I can only suggest that to get to know me personally as I don't intend to harm anyone. I often can be stressed and pre pressured at times and that often reflects into my words and behavior, but I try to be fair to everyone. If I have offended anyone with my words before, I will apologize as I did not want, didn't want to make anyone feel uncomfortable. Would you guys maybe be able to address the video itself based off the timestamps and sections? I'm likely asking too much, but now that you have watched the video, I'd be, it'd be nice to know what you think of every section and what was said and shown in it. I don't know. Yes, we actually prepared something like this today. I'm sure if you if we should talk about it this now or if we should post it sort of statement. <clears throat> I have those. They're timestamp. Or they're here. I got them. <laughs> I should have put this one with the... Will any pets be added? Dragons, goats, etc. would be nice. We definitely want to add new pets someday, but it's not planned for the nearest future. You can bet there will be dragons. The allegation of your work environment being unhealthy. This is, in many cases, true. It is indeed unhealthy to spend all your time, free time on free days to prepare an update for the game for free. Especially if the update is not ready, and there is still a lot to do. This brings a lot of stress to all the developers. The alternative to that would be to release updates less often. Not sure if the community would be happy about it. We always see a lot of negative comments in cases when update is small or postponed. Uh, people in the chat were telling him that he can do twice a month, every other week, and they would be fine with it. A lot of people were reacting to those, agreeing with them. I personally agree. We don't need an update every week. It was never established that the updates would be every week. It's just something that happened and then people just now expect them every week. But if you make an announcement saying, hey, we're cutting back updates to this amount of time per month or this amount of time per week. And then you start doing that, whether people agree or not, people are still going to show up to see what the update is, you know? So it's not too big of a deal. Um, so, can you give more details and insight on the allegations? Those of the cult-like mentality. Rem reminder, Mia did say she used that term loosely. I just wanted to put that in. The allegations of the work environment and being unhealthy and maybe go into detail on what exactly was misrepresented since you feel it was. What did she get wrong? Those of cult-like mentality. Well, sometimes the technical part of the ex update is quite complicated and is difficult to explain to a person who has limited programming experience. I'm trying to explain the details if possible, but in some cases other developers should just trust the programmer about technical limitations. This might look like I'm enforcing my way of doing something, but in many cases it's the technical side of the problem which is enforcing me to implement something in a specific way. This sort of trust the programmer has nothing to do with religious context or any cult. I would like to ask um, or mention that in the video, Mia, ga Mia gave you guys a concept or idea of dyeing the horse's mane and tail to a color, but my question is possible to add into the game even for the event or short time period, like four days to her example. Uh, the problem with dyeing the mane as well as dyeing player character hair is to transfer the information to other players which color has been chosen. From the tech no technical point of view, you should not only be... you should not only have a specific color of your item, but also have to be see which color the other player chooses. The current network protocol does not allow to transfer this information at the moment, otherwise we would probably already be able to add recolor, hair, clothes, etc. So, have you watched the video yet? Are you actually equipped to answer questions about it without telling us Mia was never part of the team, so her opinion stories don't matter? Yes, I watched the video today mostly because Shiratan asked me to. Shiratan? The video actually appeared to be much less informative than I expected. It is mostly an interpretation of events by a person who doesn't have enough detail. We can cover the topics in more detail now if necessary. Maybe if Mia was here, she could could get the actual context of the decisions made without having to guess it from outside. Could you add new maps, especially for speed? It would be beautiful. This is very complicated, but we would love to add new maps someday. The only reason I have some of the 
game related questions is because I'm lazy as you can see and I couldn't crop them out. I had so many screenshots to go through, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just have it be an uplifting positive negative thing, okay? <laughs> Uh, you yourself took it upon yourself to message a previous member of the team and try to claim she was responsible for Mia's interview while she was on vacation to the point where she was in tears. <clears throat> this isn't the first time you have, have yelled or at or bullied this individual for absolutely no reason. When I was contacting the person because I wanted to make sure that the person is not blamed unnecessarily, I even explained it. I know this update upset the person and I regret, regret it. I, can do no I cannot do much more there because the person blocked me. I have been ignored twice now. I'm assuming there's no proof of these statements that you have have been have been made. Also, uh, publicly own up along with your team. Please understand that we will not be able to prove any of these statements without revealing personal information we have no right to reveal. I have personally blocked you from sending DMs due to your horrendous treatment of a minor member of the team, as well as banning a previous team member for no reason other than her knowing a game code. I am wanting to public I want a public apology for the treatment of this individual as they have done nothing wrong other than try to make the game the best they possibly be could possibly be. Yes, I agree that there was some big mistakes that I have done, but if I guess correctly whom you were talking to, then I believe that the conflict has been resolved now. You can contact the person yourself to check if this is accurate. I think they're talking about a uh, blank account, the person I posted first. I think that's who they are talking about. Because I think um, Alex described them previously as the person with the two letters. I just don't take that, don't quote me on it. That's what I'm thinking. I might be confused. Yeah, if you were talking about the person who whose name contains two letters, then I have already apologized for my behavior personally. Yeah, so it was blank account. Maybe you could talk to this person. If you are talking about the person who has been recently contacted, then I am indeed sorry if this conversation made her feel bad, because my original intention was to prove that she was nothing, she has nothing to do with the matter, and it upset her, sad. It upset her, sad. Maybe you talking about the person who originally shared critical technical information which could harm the game. Do you think she is looking for an apology? I don't think she should even... It should even matter if these people are looking for an apology, to be honest. If you treated them poorly, you should you should reconsider, recognize, my bad, that within yourself and apologize to them. If I get into a situation where somebody, someone, if harmed by my words, I try to resolve the conflict when possible. Sometimes this comes late. And I did apologize to the person whose name contains two letters. Would be glad to resolve conflict with other people, but cannot contact them, unfortunately. I heard from somewhere that you believe that people of the LGBTQ don't exist. Can you please elaborate on this since the large part of your community for fits into the category? We value the LGBTQ players just as much as any other player. In fact, some of us ourselves are LGBTQ. Uh, if you're talking about your friend who was contacted yesterday, then as said, I am very sorry if this conversation made her upset. I am sure if you know all the details but she was working on some project which intersects with the current situation, so it's very complicated. Um, oh look, a breeding question. <laughs> Hi, I want to ask a question about breeding. What is the exact percentage of three-star coats? What con- co 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 I can't say that word. Uh, what co- f uh, yeah, there, there. You, you see the word, you read it. Please understand that we cannot reveal information like this. Um, what kind of concept art do you look- Look, are you looking for the most? Armor, maps, animals. I'd like to know which ones are most likely to get used. We consider any concept, do anything you love, and we can we uh, let you have the most creativity in. I'm not trying to bring trouble to the team. I want the team to make this game the best it could be. Truly, as that is what I wanted when I was a member of the team. You should understand that conflicts happen in any environment, especially when there is a lot of stress. In such situations, people can say some things that they will regret. As said in the Q&A, the main part of the problem was due to constant deadlines and pressure from the updates. Of course, this doesn't excuse me or anyone else, but this fact factor should not be discarded. That is true. School is a good example of it. Just, school in general is really toxic. But, this is true. I do agree with him on this one. To an extent. Um, I'd like to hear the LGBTQ statement from Alex since he was supposedly the one who said it. 
there are LGBTQ people in the team and they are doing really great. If there were any issues with LGBTQ people in the game or in the team, then we would not be able to work with on updates together. Are you talking about the person whose names contain two letters? Did you talk to the person yourself recently? Did you ask this person if they wanted them to talk? Would they think themselves because I did not put a lot of effort to resolve the conflict? Um, then surely these statements would be irrelevant as you cannot back them up because they're merely just words at this point now. Consider censoring this is also a thing you know. Just as the accusations towards us are not irrelevant, which also connect, cannot be backed up by proof to protect the privacy of the people involved, the statement is also not re irrelevant. It goes both ways. I do not care about you not liking my proposal. I care about the mean, mean things you've called me and how rude and inconsiderate you are. Is this all about call calling some of your qualifications insufficient? Can you be specific? I don't think you should even... Um, I wanted to post the official, non-official apology he did. He pinned it, or somebody pinned it to the chat. <clears throat> uh, to everyone whom I've ever upset, intentionally or not, I might be a bit harsh sometimes, that's true, and then sometimes, and can sometimes tell words that upset people. I don't deny it, I'm sorry if it harmed you in any way. Uh, take that with a grain of salt, take it as you will. It is what it is, but there it is. And finally, I have the organized questions that Shiratan had put into another chat. It was all about the video. This is where they kind of, they took the day to organize their answers out with what they had said in the Q&A. So I have them as well. Uh, why did Alex demand tons of screenshots and video evidence from his volunteers to prove to him how the game worked? It has happened sometimes that vo veterans remember aspects of the game incorrectly, which can introduce serious balance and functionality issues. To prevent this from happening, sufficient evidence was needed to prove that a certain function of the game really worked a certain way. This is one reason that certain functionalities like the ranch skills and the related horse behavior on the paddock haven't been added yet. There are missing. There is still inf missing information. Does Alex not add other programmers because he wants to keep all the power to himself? We try to recruit uh, recruit other programmers, but it is very difficult to find programmers with the necessar necessary skill level who are willing to work for free. If you are a programmer and think that you would have enough skills to work on the project, please feel free to apply. Please keep in mind that if you have a su sufficient expertise, at least the following areas, C++, low-level debugging, networking. Should the team make a channel for volunteers to give people the opportunity to help without giving them power? We will try to find a solution to do this in the nearest future because we would like to work with the volunteers and give more people the opportunity to help with the game. We've already received some good suggestions from the com community on how to make this possible. Does the team have trust issues and only wants to recruit people they personally like? The reason we are reluctant to recruit more members is that we have made very bad experience. We've had very bad experiences in the past. We had to remove teammates from the team because for example they abused their power as moderator or did other unacceptable things when they were removed from the team some of them started harassing us in the game and on social media to take revenge on us because they knew our identities some of them even leaked our names spread bad rumors and threatened to dox us or worse since this happened we have become much more careful with accepting new members because we really don't want to experience this again we first want to get to know the person who at our own pace for an example are a moderator is abusing their power, this might create more complication than moderating the chat at all. Is Alex too lazy to do things properly? Because the majority of the game code is binary compiled code, with the exception of a few scripts, it takes us much longer to further develop the game than it would under normal circumstances and is also much more difficult. Normally, you would never edit compiled code, but instead build a game in a game engine. We cannot do this because we are not the original developers and therefore don't have the source files. The compiled game was never meant to be edited, which means that there are certain limitations we wouldn't be here there if we could work on a game engine. The concept that the horse profile slider presented in the video does not work like this that in the game because of the said limitations. Alex actually tried to make it work in the past. Of course, any concept could be a drawn in Photoshop, but if the concept will work in the actual game is entirely different in question. Alex and most teammates have full full time work school or school, and Alex spends almost all of his free time working on AO for years with almost no vacation. Calling somebody who works all the time lazy is simply incorrect. Do you keep adding things no one really asked for instead of adding things we have promised to add in the past? 
We usually work on several things at the same time. We might release small updates like accessories while working on bigger updates that will take longer in the background. Sometimes we run into unexpected technical dif difficulties which delay on pro promised updates that this is just as annoying to us as it is to the players. We are doing our best to add the promised updates as quickly as we can. As exception as the moderation system, we agree that the current moderation system is in dire need of improvement. This is why we are currently working on a system to get rid of the inappropriate player names in the game and from there improve the moderation system further. Once the names are taken care of, we can finally consider adding the guild battles because we don't want inappropriate emblems or guild names to be shown there. Does Curry try to control people's opinions on Facebook? We do not pol police players' opinions on Facebook. We also don't delete comments which can... Con contradict our own opinions or any other comments as long as the language excuse me as long as the language is appropriate in some cases we might remove some content from the comments if it is exposed some personal information if people affiliate with the team want to comment on their private facebook accounts we do not stop them but since these accounts are private and do not represent the team in any way there are on some level as any other comment and therefore have no authority authority does Alex discard opinions from anyone who is not a part of his team? The most important opinion in in the opinion of the majority of is the opinion of the majority of players. We implement the voting system to better estimate players' opinions regarding big updates. The voting system will make sure that imp important things like new character eyes, horses, coats, coats, manes, and tails, etc., can be pre previewed and approved by the majority of the community before we add them to the game. This, these community votes overrule the personal wishes and opinions of the teammates. Also, we do listen to the suggested players sent to our Facebook page and have already made several items players have been requesting there. However, when players suggest things from the outside, these suggestions sometimes cannot be implemented because it's not possible in the current moment. This does not mean the idea was discarded, but it certainly might be simply impossible. I do remember Alex saying that he wanted the flaxen on the black Sebino. But <laughs> the voting wrecked that, so, I mean, let's be honest. Eh, if, nasty. <laughs> uh, is there emotional abuse and overwork at the team? Previously, we were trying to release big updates every Sunday and in case, cases when there was no not enough time. The team got stressed and this often led to conflicts. I can It could be said that we were indeed overworked, which is emotionally hard for many team members. Some people might even have gotten impatient and raised their voices at times due to the stress. But we realized that this approach was not healthy and sometimes made several people in the team very, feel very bad. And we switched to smaller updates so there was not as much pressure on the team anymore and the situation got improved. Team members are not required to participate in the update calls. If a team member doesn't have time or simply does not want to participate, they do not have to. Of course, we normally notify in advance if we will not be present for an update that requires our help. So alternative update plans can be made. Otherwise, when the team is struggling with the update and running out of time, we might ask people for immediate help, but we do not force them to join. Again, that is true because you can see on their Facebook when they say that their update is going to be late. That, that part is true. Um, does Alex prioritize the Russian community because he is Russian? Uh, stayed from Alex. Some team members might think this way because I also run a group of a Russian community. There are a lot of uh, members there and it is good player base to estimate opinions about the added items for example so it has nothing to do with being particularly russian for example this 101 server would be a, a, also a good source of player in opinions if we got information collected any big group of players is available source of information regardless of location it is just that we currently have direct access to the facebook and vq groups has alex been attempted to find personal information of former team members including their location. Alex never attempted to find personal information about this, his former or current team members. He only tracked the IP address of characters and tr troublemakers who were threatening players, which is necessar necessary to make sure that uh, they can no longer join the game. And even in the case of troublemakers, the maximum information you can get in the IP address, which only gives information about the city, and even that is inaccurate. Again, Google confirmed. Does the team refuse to delete accounts on request? This is currently no. There is currently no automatic system in place that would allow players to delete their account, but it does work. We can do this manually. Therefore, technically, we don't violate the rules, but people who request deletion might need to wait for a while because the operation is very complicated. It actually requires chat reset at the moment and is very convenient for the players who request it, request it because it uh, can not be done immediately. We want to make the function automatically in the foreseeable future. Did the team ever steal assets without the permission of the creator? 
The person in question is not an external artist, but a person who has been in the team for the longest time. She originally provided the zebra texture for the game. She specifically designed it to be used in the game, and it was already added in 2014 for testing. The misunderstanding appeared during the update when we were added when we added the zebra to the game, and the creator of the texture was not online. As we had to do everything in a rush, we and we assumed that she would be okay with it as she designed it for the game herself. We added it without waiting for her approval. Of course, she was at first disappointed that we didn't discuss it with her, and mostly because we added the original eyes to make it fit the AO style better, and she didn't like the new eyes, but we discussed it after the update, and she agreed that the new eyes weren't that bad after all. We totally agreed that we should have waited for her to check on the texture changes and discuss adding it to the game. This has been only been done because she couldn't be easily reached at the moment. Understandable. To an extent. Uh, this one's from Alex specifically. What is your attitude towards the video? Regarding the content of the video, as said, there are some cases when the, my actions were unfair towards some people and I already did resolve these situations personally and other mention, mentioned cases. I don't really know for sure what this was meant. As far as I can guess, some people got some people got upset at me expressing opinions regarding their qualifications or inappropriate actions that they have performed in a ver not very polite way. Well, that could pro probably happen even though I don't remember it and I didn't see the logs. Still, I agree that this sort of information should be presented to a person into a polite form, whatever possible. Regarding the conflicts in the team, there is absolutely... This is absolutely clear that most of the conflicts happened because we were working under pressure and we were trying to provide a good update every week. Some players say that this was a mistake and we shouldn't have worked that hard because this is unhealthy. Well, yeah, but you should realize that it would it that if we didn't work that hard, then all the current mo cur it, at the current moment we wouldn't probably have even half of the content which is currently available in the game. This would lead to a situation when players would just leave the game due to lack of updates. So the choice was the following. Overwork and trying to do our best to regularly provide good content to the players, even if it leads to developers working under stress. Taking more people into a team, regardless of whether their personality fits the team or not. We tried this, it led to even bigger conflict and completely blocks the development. Doing less updates in which the game died out. This is the choice that I had to make, and believe me, this is not an easy choice to make. What are the future plans for this game? I was really disappointed to see the state with the English community is currently in. It seems that people no longer understand what privacy or trust are. I would like to clarify my position regarding the situation. Let's imagine I am playing a game I really like and someone publishes a video containing private information about the de developing team. What does this actually mean? This means that somebody who was previously trusted got upset about some event and then used ex internal information, which is available to them only because they were trusted, to get back into the team. How would I qualify this action? As a betrayal. Clearly, there is no other way to describe it. In case of an official company, you might even sue them. So what my action would be is in such a situation. First, I would show my attitude towards the person who shared private information in the comments and then report the video to YouTube, if the appropriate report option is available. Then kick all the people involved in this act from my guild and friends list and their if there are any without any regret. My point is, as a person betrays someone once, then it's only a matter of time until this person betrays someone else again. Mark my words. This is my position. This is what I would do. This is what I consider to be right. You are making your own de decision based on your own values. I do agree with him there. To, if you, you're going to do it your way, how you feel, your emotions will direct you towards what you feel is right. Like Kind of like that. That's what I agree with on that matter. Often, of course, I would could describe the other side of the story in details and maybe even then everyone would understand the situation much better. However, that would violate the privacy of several people, including those who betrayed the team. So yes, I am indeed thinking differently. I value the privacy of other people, even after the betrayal of the team. And while there are also people who betrayed others, that's not surprising. I already know this from the previous experience. I can live with that. What was actually disappointing in this situation is that the absolute majority of players who watched the video didn't realize what was going on wrong there. Not only they didn't realize that the goal of the video was to harm the team, and subsequently the game itself, whether or not it was the original intent of the author or art achieved unintentionally, as you can see from the YouTube statistics, absolutely majority of players support such videos. And I will be honest with you, this came as a total surprise to me for all those years I have been working hard on the game and my free time and provide good content for the players just to realize one day that the majority of players would act against the team as soon as the opportunity arrives. Well, that's really sad. I'm going to tell you really sad. So now try to imagine the next update. The choice you have to make to have some good 
rest after work like most of the people do or the work hard on an update for the players who act against you who have no idea what trust is and don't respect privacy of others think about for a moment yourself what choice would you make I'm not sure what to do with the server now no one needs to close no need to close it probably I can organize a system where you can pay for it yourself it's quite expensive by the way put together you might be able to do this I'm thinking he means sell it off to somebody else if they want it because he can't make money for the server at all because the game copyright issues and everything so I'm thinking he'd sell it off to somebody who wants it to work on it themselves or yeah I'm think yeah that's what I'm thinking actually but I don't know that's just how I'm taking it um uh, do where I go where to go where's my thingy and there will be no updates of course Facebook page is no longer an official page and becomes a fan page from now on. Maybe in the future I'll just start over and open a smaller server only for the Russian community in some other languages to maintain it myself. After all, they didn't participate in and didn't support all this nonsense. If you are part of the English-speaking community and you didn't support all this mess and you share the same values as I described, then you are more than welcome on the new server. Your accounts will be fully transferred. See you there. So there's all that. All the chat information collected. Uh, I'm I'm sure I missed a few because there was just so many people texting and with even the slow text enabled it was still so many people um, for my personal opinion I I do think they could have gone about it better I do give them credit they did admit to some of the things they could have just completely ignored the video but they did they did this instead um, I don't doubt, doubt having a job and rushing to finish an update, big or small. It wasn't stressful. I work, and it can drain you, but I have the luxury to go to bed, wake up, and chill the next day until work. I'm sure Alex, to some degree, was stressed over balancing a full-time job and the game, but no one was forcing him to d update. Like Mia said, yes, some of the players uh, got used to the updates being on Sundays or, you know, whenever for time zones, but a lot of people, even in the chat, said that they would be okay twice a month updates or every other week help them better he could have found a way to de-stress sometimes walking away from an argument to collect yourself and not blow up on the person helps i've done it a few times i'm sure other people have done it i mean i admit i had a short fuse as a teenager but as an adult i've gotten better but um i got squish to squishy toys i de-stress with that pet a cat pet a dog a pillow if you got pet allergies you know there's there's options available you just gotta look for them um i mean i feel bad kind of for alex having to work a job and trying to balance a game but he can also just announce cutting back on updates like i said no one is forcing him he can literally take a day off if he's done doing that have a weekend to yourself man it's once a month there there are workarounds for nearly every situation you just have to find them uh, when with me and the other volunteers as I stated in the previous video when I was just letting people know that it might shut down uh, I don't agree with the toxic work environment but it is a common thing like just, there's negative people everywhere like I said earlier school is a very it can be a very toxic place place so toxicity in an environment is very common just look at the AO community in general on global it can be toxic uh, but nobody should have to go with that. Nobody should have to be subjugated to it. Nobody should have to put up with it. Especially if it's for a video game that you're volunteering on. You're not getting paid. You're just doing it in your free time as a hobby. Nobody should have to put up with it. And they shouldn't have... This shouldn't have come out the way it did. But I, I see why. Like I don't know if anybody tried to talk to Alex privately before this. Maybe an attempt was made by somebody, I don't know, I don't have the information on it. But if it was, and it just got ignored, I can see why the video came out. I can see why this was turned publicly. I can, because sometimes to get your point across, you need to blatantly come out and get more people involved. But, um, I don't think players should have been brought in, like I said. Um, I do think people can change, it just takes a lot a lot from the person that needs to change but it is possible I might stick around just to see if it gets better I don't have my high my hopes high or low I have other things to do 
but uh, I mean, just it's, it's all around a mess. I mean, some of the players do tend to be ungrateful. You can check the Facebook posts. A lot of them just demanding boxes all the time. And just, it's, it's a pile upon a pile upon a pile of nothing but negativity. And this is kind of a thing that's been in the background. I mean, nobody's known about it except those involved. But I can just see it as something that escalated and kept escalating until it finally blew up. And it just happened. Like, like you're just, you're withholding emotions for so long, and then something just snaps in you, and you trigger, and you just blow up. This is kind of what the situation seems to be, from an outside perspective of somebody that just watched all this happen. But there it is. Again, um, be respectful. As stated previously, if I get comments on this video, I will be monitoring them to the best of my ability just for a few days. We can have a civil conversation on this. We don't need to sling insults. We don't need to tell people to shut up just because they disagree with us. As a community, we do need to kind of pull together, just inform everybody. I don't want confusion. I don't want misinformation. That's why I have this video. That's why I put it up. As a community, that's the last thing we need right now. And with the threat of accounts of certain people, you know, if Alex does pull through with just the Russian server, some people are going to, a lot of people are going to be very disheartened. A lot of people are going to be upset. But just try to be civil. I know that's hard, <laughs> especially with everything that's going on. It's very heated, but just try. And hopefully this will resolve. Hopefully something will come of this. I mean, honestly, I've stated this before in Go's video. The files for... Alicia 2.0 are out there. I found them. I have no use for them, but I found them. I don't I don't know if they're all there, but honestly, if it came down to it, I'm sure people would be willing to just rebuild that one and have it its own game. I'd be down to support it. I'm sure a lot of people would, but if it came down to it, maybe that's what we need to do, but that's what it is. Take this information as you will. Do with it what you will. Just be civil.